The following video is based on an actual reported encounter. All names have been changed for privacy. Elliot and Seth are brothers who share a love for the outdoors. They had been planning this hunting trip for weeks, never imagining the terror they would endure. As they arrived at their chosen spot near Cleveland, Ohio, the crisp morning air filled their lungs. They quietly unloaded their gear, rifles slung over their shoulders and set out into the woods, their footsteps muffled by the thick carpet of fallen leaves. After a while, they spotted three deer. Seth, excited to think they would get one this quickly, took aim and fired a shot. He missed, hitting a branch causing the deer to run off. They moved on, and as they were getting ready to cross the stream, they were pelted with pebbles. Looking around, they couldn't see anyone. Elliot yelled, Who's there? There was no response. After waiting about five minutes, looking around and not seeing anything, they decided to move on. As they waded through the thigh-deep water, Seth lost his footing and fell into the creek. Elliot reached in and helped him back up and stepped forward, but Seth grabbed his hand and said, wait. Seth told him he had felt something down in the bottom. Seth remembers telling him he thought there might be a body down there. They decided to take the equipment to the side of the creek and come back. After placing their equipment on the ground, they heard a sound like someone pounding concrete. Looking around, they didn't see anything out of the ordinary. Seth said they were concerned who the sounds might be coming from if that was actually a body. After some discussion, they decided Seth would go back in to figure out what was in the creek, and Elliot would keep watch on land. As Seth was entering the water, a huge rock landed a few feet from Elliot and right against one of the backpacks. Turning, he didn't see anyone, but he yelled to Seth to hurry. Seth said he waded back to the area where he felt the object and began trying to fill around with his feet. After a few minutes, he felt something and used his foot to lift it up to his hand. Grabbing it and feeling fur, he pulled it up. In disbelief, he looked down at a human-shaped, light, gray, furry leg as he held it out of the water. He waved Seth over as it slipped out of his hand as he stumbled. Now feeling another one, he lifted the body of a brown Sasquatch partially out of the water, revealing its head and shoulders. Looking around and not seeing anyone, Elliot waded over. They couldn't believe their eyes as they realized what they were looking at. Elliot was looking at the creature when his backpack landed in the water next to him. They both looked up and there was a Sasquatch standing on the side of the creek amongst their belongings. Grabbing the backpack before it floated away, they dropped the body back in the water and started toward the opposite side of the stream. The Bigfoot let out a roar they could feel in their chests even at that distance. Once on dry land, they turned and realized the Sasquatch was coming through the water toward them. They began running, only having one gun and one backpack with them. After about 15 minutes, they stopped for a breather, looking back to see if they saw the creature. They didn't see it, so they stood there catching their breath until hearing movement getting closer so they took off again. Finally approaching the car, they heard the Sasquatch getting closer. Elliot turned to look and realized the creature was catching up, so he pulled his weapon and shot at it. The bullet hit the tree by the Bigfoot, causing Bark to splinter, hitting it in the arm. The creature seemed stunned by this and stopped, looking at the tree and his arm, then back at Elliot. They ran the rest of the way to the car, throwing the equipment they still had into the back seat and driving away. After a few minutes, realizing they were safe, 
they began discussing the harrowing experience. Since they've had time to think about it, they realized the creatures didn't want them near the creek. They discussed how it wasn't until they reached the creek that things were thrown at them and they heard the banging sounds. They must have been warning them. Seth said he and Elliot have never gone back there to hunt again. Now they head to a completely different area. This is the first time they have discussed their experience outside of their spouses. Seth said they haven't gone hunting since without talking about their encounter. If you've had an experience with Bigfoot, please let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe to our channel, Dreamscape Horrors, as there's much more to come.